Hi, I am Hiram Zushi. Welcome to Gyani Badi. Today we will discuss about a very popular and very interesting assignment called as subnetting, which comes under the topic of computer networks. So, guys, before starting this assignment, we will now see what output is expected by our by our teacher or our examiner. So, we will get to know what exactly we will do in this assignment. So. It says this assignment decodes a class C IP address. So you must be knowing that subnets or subnetting technique can only be applied for class C IP address, which uh, you have learned through the prerequisites. Now I will enter some IP address in class C 192.168.0.1. The first output expected by any examiner is that you display this whole address in its bitwise form, since it is stored in the IP header in the similar manner. So this is the output given here. We will implement a function which can convert any number into its bitwise form, which will show it in a whole byte. Now another thing required for an IP address in subnetting is a CIDR bit. So we will enter the CIDR number. Let us assume 26. After giving these two entities, our code should calculate the following things. The subnet mask of our IP address which is given by the CIDR bits, the network address, the broadcast address, first and the last usable address, like these four things are must. After that, you have very well decoded the given IP address into its parts. Now our program will check whether the given input IP address matches the IP address that we entered initially, or can it form connectivity with our address. So let us input some IP address 192.168.0.2 So it says clients are in the same subnet connectivity can be established. Uh, that is because both 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 can be assumed to be in a same subnet. So now we can move forward and check it for another input. Let's say 192 dot one six eight dot zero zero dot one nine three the clients are in the same network but they are in different subnets so that is why connectivity cannot be established now let us try for some other input one nine two one six eight one dot zero now in this case the clients are not in the same network at all because the third byte of our IP address does not match. And in this way, we can cross verify for any IP address that we enter into this system that will check whether we can form connectivity with our given IP address like the initial address or not. In order to exit, I will enter one. So this very interesting code can be built in Python within a very few lines of course. So let us start with the coding part of the assignment. So guys, let us move to the further section of this assignment. The link to this assignment on gyanibadi.com is given in the description. You might want to read out the prerequisites of this assignment, which are as follows. You must know what is IP protocol and how does IP protocol work. You must also know how does IP header form, like what is the header of IP packet and also what are the contents of it. The main focus on IP header should be the IP address and the CIDR bits. And finally, you must also know what is subnetting like the concept and theory of subnetting and why it is done and how it is performed. So the code part of it will be discussed now as given below. So guys, now we are down to our coding part and we will map our source code to our output in order to understand the assignment. So now we are here and we have the input as well as the output in front of us. The first function is convert to binary. It accepts a number which is less than, uh, less than 256 and then it will convert it to its binary form. If you want to know more about this function, you can comment in the video. I'll explain it. Then comes the printing part and then we take the input of the IP address using the split function in Python. We will split the string. Uh, having the split parameter as dots so that we get to know each of the four bytes of our IP address. 
then we will display the results of the bitwise conversion before that we will have two strings which is prelim string and prelim bitwise it will store as i can show you here the first three bytes of the ip address uh, in the prelim bitwise we will store the bitwise string as i have highlighted here and in prelim string we will store this as i have highlighted here so that whenever we require it in our output or we need to show it somewhere so, uh, like network address or broadcast address etc so we will directly use this string and we can skip this for loop so saving the time and making our code efficient because that's what software engineers do after this for loop i will go to ask the user cidr bits which for class c should be either greater than 24 or should be less than 32 so for that i will place a while loop here so the user will not enter any false or incorrect cidr number after getting cidr bits i will subtract the cidr bits uh, with 24 and have a temp variable in order to store the value like the byte value of the mask that will be formed using cidr bits let us assume uh, that according to our example we entered cidr 26 as i have shown here highlighted so 26 minus 24 is 2 according to this function we will add 2 raised to 7 and 2 raised to 6 since we have only 2 in the range so that will come out to be 9, 192 and hence our subnet mask will become 192 now i hope you know how to form subnet marks using cidr bits like the first three eights of 24 will form this 255 to 55 to 55 and the last digit will help us find this output so this is how we will work on subnets now after subnet we have to calculate the network address the broadcast address the first and the last IP address that is available in our subnet now the first thing you should know before doing this is that when the subnet is very small like it can hold only two addresses then it cannot hold any usable address like the concept of first and last address will destroy here itself so first we will display network address and broadcast address according to the conventions of coding we can use the bitwise AND operation in order to find what is the network address of it because it forms the lower at lowest address in the given subnet so we have section c which is suppose here one and we have temp temp is 192 so bitwise ending of it will give us answer zero since none of the bits in those two bytes will match and hence we will get our network address to be zero network address in numeric format is 0 similarly if we are finding the broadcast address it has to be the highest address in our subnet and in order to find that we will perform the like negative ORing for our broadcast address because that's how it's done so we will subtract temp from 255 we will get to know the lower addresses like after performing this our bitwise number like this number will uh, would look like 0 0 and 6 times 1 for our given input which is 26 and then we will or it with uh, sections 3 and that's how we will get to know what is our broadcast address in this case it will come out to be 63 since here 63 and one will be odd together and that's how we get the answer so we will print the network and the broadcast address and the further part of it is pretty simple we will first check whether there are any usable addresses in this subnet by checking this like if the broadcast number and network number is like subtracted by network number is greater than one for example 63 and 0 is greater like 63 minus 0 is greater than 1 hence we have to 
like we have usable first and last address or usable addresses in this subnet. We will print the sim uh, them in similar way as we have done for network and broadcast address. So let us move to our further part which is connectivity with the client. We will first take the input of the client like the second client in its IP form. Then uh, we will do the same operations on it like displaying it in its bitwise form, splitting etc. Everything is done here and after that the prelim string that we used uh, we will form here the similar one but with some different naming convention because we have to use a different one here since it so it will be prelim string 1. Now given that the first three uh, numbers or the first three bytes of IP address match together uh, so they will be considered to be in the same network. So th that is why we are using prelim string and prelim string 1. If they don't match at all then we can consider that uh, to, both of them are from different networks so they will not connect. So we will display clients not in same network. If at all they are in same network like uh, the both of them form in the same subnet the network number and the broadcast number conditions are matching together for them then we will further check whether the like the user has put together or put again the same client on the same IP address uh, so they should not match in order to form connectivity because a computer cannot connect to itself so, addresses entered otherwise we can say that since they do not match and they fall in the same subnet, the clients are in the same subnet and we will display that. If they are not in the same subnet, like you, they are in the same network but the subnets do not match, then we will display clients are in the same network but the subnets are different. Hence, we cannot connect form the connectivity between these two clients. So friends, that is how we perform subnetting in this assignment. I know the code is like I have shortened the code for you but it can make it a bit confusing. If you have any doubts then please comment and tell me your doubts so that I can reach to you. I will solve all your doubts ASAP and once you get this assignment I am like really thankful for you for watching this video. Do like it, comment it and share it with your friends. Download it for your assignment studies and keep up with the Ganybody community. Thanks.